Hi guys, welcome back. Well, today is kind of a fun day. As you know, I've been working on these Taito boards. And this little board right here, this little non volatile RAM chip, kind of inspired me to take that maybe a step further. And I'm going with a more modern surface mount part and I'll show you what I did. It's the same technology. It's FRAM. It, it, it basically is a non-volatile RAM. It holds it holds data once it's written to without battery backup or anything like that. So it's a pretty cool modern part. And I made my own board for Taito for that specific board. And I have made others that I'm just waiting for but this one came today and here I have these two. I got uh, new containers here for expanding parts. But I have this, which is the, that's the FRAM itself right there. And I have a drawer called NVRAM PCBs, which I will keep all of the just PCBs in. And this is the one for that board. And we'll come over here. Yeah, this is the RAM I made. This is the board I made for this. See, it's surface mount. And it'll just go right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and build this. Now, I didn't do two sockets. Like, this one has two sockets. Um... I guess I could remove it. Yeah. Anyway, this one has two sockets. I only did the one socket, plus the only four other pins that you need are the data pins from the other chip. So I just put four pins there. And those will pick off the other four data bits. So, I'm going to go ahead and build this board, and we'll try it out. Alright. I got the chip soldered on. I need to get a camera for my microscope. So that I can take it with me whenever I do little solder jobs like this. I got my little my logo on the board. Yeah, I like being able to do this, but I have this spot for a camera. I could put a camera on this quite easily. Maybe I'll do that. But so there you go. That chips on the board. And I'll go ahead and put the uh headers in. And we'll try it out. It's uh, you can see I got written on it. And this high page or low page is kind of arbitrary. It's whether you want to use the top of the ram, uh, top of the ram chip, or the bottom of the ram chip, and an address. It's really doesn't really matter. You can use it either way, high or low. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing up and try it out. Okay, kicks. Now this is the board that had all the corrosion damage, this set. And uh, This one did not have one of those NVRAM chips. This is the board completely built. So I'm going to go ahead. I had to tap this through, remember, to get to this point. So I'll go ahead and install this board 
and we will tap it through and make sure that it works. All right, let's power down, remove these two rams. Plug this in. I need light. There it's in. And let's fire it up. Okay, got to tap through. One, two, three, four, five. We are now in game. I'm going to unhook the coin door thing. It should be written now. Now it should boot right to the game. fit in there nicely so let's go ahead and turn it off let it power down <clears throat> and power back up and there you go right back to the game so it is a success NB RAM board right here And I have made more of these to fit other games too. So I'm going to have one for like a 616, uh, 6116 um, basic RAM, NV RAM, where <clears throat> this chip fits right in the middle of the, uh, the socket holes, if you know what I mean. So it'll work for like any game that has NV RAM with a 6116 RAM. I'm making a board for that. I'm making a board for, say, something that uses a single 6514 or something like that. I'm also making, it's a little overkill because this is an 8-bit part and it's only you're only using 4 bits in that situation, but you'll be able to use one of these for that. I'm making that board too. So there you go. Let's try it one more time. Power down, let it power down. And power back up. Yeah, pretty cool little board. And good to go. So there you have it. NV RAM. This, <clears throat> this chip and the description of whatever this chip here, uh, the chip number, I get it through Mauser, Mauser.com. It's like a six to seven dollar chip. Not that big of a deal. Cool. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. This. Gerber file for this little board and the information, everything I am going to put <clears throat> on my Patreon page. It'll be, that's where it'll be. Every PCB that I design and <clears throat> create and all that, I put on my Patreon page. As well as any oddities, any odd ROM files or anything like that that I come across, I always put up on my Patreon page. So check it out. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you all on the next Classic Arcade Repair. Bye for now.